Welcome back everyone. Uh, with my continuing series of I had a question in the comments, uh, I had someone who asked me how to print multicolor without an AMS. It can be done, but there's a lot of limitations, so I'll go over uh, the basic steps. All right, so let's create a model and we will start with a primitive. So we'll take this cube and we will uh, turn off uniform scale. Let's make this kind of big and 70 and let's make this five. All right, so let's add some text to this. Drop one here. And let's add one more. All right, so let's switch to uh, objects process. I'm just going to color these. And uh, let's make this a little easier to see. So we will just switch this over to white and then we'll change the text shape color to red all right now these won't be the colors that i have in um uh, on hand but you can use any color you want uh even without an ams you can add as many colors as you'd like uh, up to 16 so this won't matter as much this is more for a uh, uh, visual effect and there is a catch with uh creating your um your models with without an ams uh, flush text is effectively out uh, only because we're going to be dealing with whole layers and the text that's popping out won't work as well as um, you might think. And I'll explain a little later on why it happens. But let's try to get this close to flush. And as you know from previous videos, you can uh, basically get this down to about 0.1. Um, you can do this from um, as you're creating the text or you can just go over to the side here change the scale, make sure that uniform scale is off, and you can basically shrink this down. So um, I'm going to make this at least one layer. And what I mean by that is right now we're set for um, 0.2 layer height. So each of these layers, when we slice, will be 0.2 uh, millimeters. Uh, so we're going to make this at least one of those layers. So we want um, this text to be at least 0.2. If you wanted to have two layers, 0.4. Uh, so we'll go back again to objects process, go here. So that's the top one. We're going to change this to 0.2. So that will make this go down. We're going to go to the next text shape. We will also make this 0.2. Now, if I wanted to get two layers out of this, we'll actually just go to 0.4 and 0.6, etc. Um, all right. Uh, the other way you can try to make things flush, you can um, basically grab one of these guys and go to the move tool and bring it down. We're gonna keep it like this for now because if we go too low, um, it pretty much negates everything we just made over on the, uh, the actual uh, Z height. All right, so once we've created that, let's go and slice this and I'll show you how we can make, uh, our red disappeared. I'll show you how you can um, swap colors. Let's go back to prepare and why did we just lose shape there? And don't think I moved it. I'm just going to make this point four for right now. We'll we'll figure out why in a moment. Uh, and we're going to just slide this down a bit. So we go to the move tool. We're going to bring this down ever so slightly. And go up just a teeny bit. Slice plate. We should see both. Good. We actually have to make this, you know what, we're going to keep it like this. Um, I'll show you why this isn't going to work. We're going to have to raise it a little higher. Um, but let's go into um, how to actually swap colors. Now, we've just sliced. We're going to bring this down. And effectively, it's going to print all these layers. And let's say I wanted to swap colors here. What that means is go to the layer that you want to change. And when we right click on this, we can basically add a pause. If you had an AMS, you can actually say change filament. We don't have an AMS right now or pretend like we don't. We're gonna say add a pause. We're going to slice again. 
And what ends up happening is it will print, get to this point, stop, and then we can do a filament swap. Let's go up a little higher. And usually I would say try to limit uh, the filament swaps because it is a, a manual process. Now the catch is when you add a pause, it pauses right before the layer. So if we went all the way up to the top and paused, or if we go down and paused, we'll actually miss something. So if I paused it here to switch from white to red, this entire section will be red and we don't want that. But if we go here and add a pause, what will happen is it will actually, um, you know, print, get to the point where it stops, let's slice again and go through. So it will print, 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 go up here, pause, and we'll do a swap. It'll go all the way up to here, pause, and then uh, we can swap the colors and it will just be the top layer. Even this piece right here uh, will still be uh, white or whatever the base color is. Um, unfortunately, we're not able to swap colors in the, in the middle of a layer. So even though you're looking at all this, right clicking on this will do nothing. So you can only change color at a layer. So the reason why I sort of had the, um, uh, this part of the words sort of stick out just a little bit is it added one additional layer and from that layer we can swap the filament. All right, so let's print this and I'll show you the steps. The following settings will show up in your slicer, so if you don't have an X1, that's fine. All right, so you're just going to press the filament cutter. Uh, I would usually use two hands for this. Uh, set your temperature to at least 170C. Uh, you would actually just keep hitting the uh, retract button. From here, you would replace your filament, uh, set your temperature to your normal temp, and then you just keep hitting the extrude button. And you just keep pressing it until you see the color change. Uh, and then you can just hit the resume button and you can continue on. So as you can see, you can do color swaps even without an AMS, uh, but there are of course those limitations in the sense that you can only do it at layers. Uh, you can try to swap colors like in between a layer, but you'd have to pause it at the printer or in your slicer and you have to time it really well. Uh, as you can see, it could be a pain. And you will also see uh, that the text is not exactly flush, it's one layer up. Uh, it's close, but you can definitely feel the difference between flush text and uh, the text that's raised. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Thank you.